Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel again. This time we've got some more exciting news. We can move on to the next stage of our breeding discussion. And we can talk about eggs. So, um, we had a little surprise. We've got some movement in the breeding cube. I did not expect anything to happen so fast. Uh, I was expecting to wait uh, weeks, if not months, before we got any action. But literally two or three days after uploading the last video about setting up the breeding tank, uh, we've got some eggs. I'm not entirely sure when they were laid, but it was definitely sometime within the last kind of 24, 36 hours. Uh, I found them last night after being out all day. Left very early, didn't check the tank before we left. And came back in the evening and found the eggs and there were already a few white ones there so I know they've been there quite a while. So uh, we'll, we'll call this day one of eggs. Um, but I wanted just to run through a couple of the things that we'll be doing now. So I won't be actually doing anything. I'm just going to let this run its course and see what happens. Uh, there are a few things that could happen here, either the parents could eat all the eggs and they might not be fertilised, I think these ones are because they're looking quite dark and the unfertilised eggs which are the white eggs, so you'll see some of those little white spots there, white eggs they might um, go fungusy and they might spread to the, the healthy eggs and they could fail that way or they could move on to the next stage which is wrigglers and everything could be fine. So like I say, I'm not going to intervene at all, I'm just going to leave things as they are and let nature run its course. Uh, some of the things that I could do and I might do in future spawnings is I could add some methylene blue which would uh, treat against that fungus and protect it a little bit more. I could add a little bit more circulation to the tank, maybe move an air stone closer to the, bot to the base of the cone and just to get some water movement going so again it's helping against the, the fungus. If the parents were pecking at the eggs and eating them then I could add a cage guard which is some wire mesh so they literally they can't um, get at the eggs to eat them all. Um, but yeah I want to see what they do with themselves. As you can see they're paying quite close attention to them uh, and often the parents they will fan the eggs or blow, blow water, that's not the right expression, they will get water moving over the eggs themselves and they seem to be doing that quite well. Often they will eat the white unfertilized eggs or pick pick them off at least even if they don't eat them. Um, they haven't done that yet um, so I'll leave them to it and I'm just going to monitor it from this point on. Um, they seem to be doing really well for such a, a young pair that I've never laid before and now they've laid and they seem to be looking after them quite well. I've not seen any more white eggs, often you'll get a few white eggs and then the next day there'll be a few more and then the next day after that they'll all be white and that's because none of them have been fertilised but I checked these last night and there doesn't seem to be any more white eggs uh, today so that's a good what, 18 hours later now and um, so I think they are fertilised and so that's a good sign. So it seems like my simple breeding setup and simple approach to this so far is working quite well. Um, but I will keep you all updated. Um, follow along, let me know what you think. If you've got any ideas or any questions, let me know in the comments. Uh, as always, check out my Facebook group or Facebook page. I'd appreciate a follow there as well, that would help out. Um, but yeah, click that subscribe button, click the little notification bell and then you won't miss any updates in the future and hopefully I'll have some even more exciting ones soon. But that's it for today, just a quick one and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, bye bye.